let's talk about something important. Like, cross guard lightsabers. Cross guard lightsabers. So, me and a buddy of mine at work the other day were having a debate about Kylo Ren's lightsaber. And he was sitting there trying to explain to me that we have seen cross guard lightsabers in the expanded universe before. And I had to point out to him, well, when Disney bought Lucasfilm, they threw all the expanded universe out. So that doesn't matter. This is the first time that we've seen a cross guard lightsaber. And obviously, if you looked at it, it's just hodgepodge together. It's hodgepodged out of three different lightsabers. This cross guard lightsaber is. Um, so we were trying to come up with the science behind it, the reasoning behind it, yada, yada, yada course you know from a tactical standpoint it makes more sense to have a cross guard lightsaber because it would um, protect your hand unlike Ezra Bridger's lightsaber that has like that goofy iron guard on it that any lightsaber would cut straight through I'm fairly certain a blaster would would shoot right through it but you know hey the animators at Disney thought that was a really great idea but I finally had to end the argument with basically saying, okay, you want to know why there's a cross guard lightsaber in the, in the show, in the movies now? Because some writer said, you know what would be really cool? If we had a cross guard lightsaber. I mean, I love Star Wars. I really do. But I get tickled at fellow geeks of mine. Sometimes they want to they, they wanna argue at length and passionately about something that is fictional. That, that's amusing to me. So, cross guard lightsabers. Why do we have them? Because a writer thought it would be awesome. Lucas is counting his millions, paying his alimony. That's interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing everybody here knows the story behind Pixar. No? Okay, well, Pixar was actually the Lucasfilm animation division that was started back in the late 70s. And as most of you probably know, Lucas was married um, once before his current wife. In fact, his first wife helped him write American Graffiti and the first Star Wars movie. And after he made a shitload of money off the first Star Wars money, off of the first Star Wars movie, she divorced him. Took him to the cleaners. They have no kids together. And that man pays a lot of money in alimony every year. Um, plus, since she was actually uh, married to him, um, when he made THX, um, when he made American Graffiti and um, Punch Buggy Yellow, since probably the same one I saw yesterday. Anyway, since she was married to him when he made American Graffiti and the first Star Wars movie, she's actually entitled to half of his half of his royalties off those two movies. So, she's sitting pretty. I mean, I don't think he got a very good lawyer if you ask me. I mean, you're entitled to half of the royalties off of two blockbuster films and you want alimony on top of that? But anyway, so he had to make his alimony payment in the early 80s, and he's, he makes a yearly payment of, I don't even know how much, but in order to make his alimony payment that year, he sold Pixar to Apple Computer. Apple Computer subsequently spun it off into a separate division, or spun it off into a separate company. That separate company then started partnering with Disney to, um, to uh, release its films, and then Disney ended up buying them out. Um, so everything comes full circle. So Disney now owns Lucasfilm and both owns Pixar. So kind of came full circle there. Another fun little story about Pixar was in the mid 80s, um, John Lasseter, who is the executive over Disney's animation studios, was actually a lead animator for Disney. And he went to his boss and said, we need to start looking into computer animation because that is the thing of the future and we need to get on it before anybody else does. We have the resources. We're known for our animation. This is what we need to do. And his boss said, will it save us money? And John Lasseter said, well, no, it's going to cost us a lot of money, but we have the money to spend on it and this is what we need to do. And his boss said, clean out your desk. You're done. You're fired. Go home. So John Lasseter went and got a job for Pixar, 
and worked his way up through the ranks and was basically running Pixar when Disney approached Pixar about buying them. And John Lasseter's deal with them was he would come back to work for Disney and sell the company to them or allow the company to be sold to them on the one condition that he would have control of the animation division of Disney. So their, their stories are kind of intertwined there. I think that's kind of neat how he was right and was able to end up on top. I, I like stories like that. Um, they're interesting to me, especially if they're real life. So, right at the bus stop. Bus will be here any minute. I'm going to put up my hair. Y'all hold on. Remember, 500 subscribers. I'll do pigtails. I'll even wear them to work. 5,000 subscribers. Braided pigtails. Again, I'll wear them to work. At least for that night. And 15,000 subscribers. Braided pigtails. Pippi Longstocking style. I'll do it. Really, I will. Ain't that pretty? Beautiful, ain't it? Get the damn power cord. Wrapped around the steering wheel. So, here we are. It rained. It's going to be hot and muggy at the house this afternoon. My wife and kids got air conditioning and they'll be okay. Of course, they'll be running the air conditioner harder than normal, so I'm going to be using more power. Um... It's overcast, so I'm not going to be getting a lot of solar power. Uh, this time of year, because of the way I got my trees, the way I got my wind turbine positioned and got the trees around it, I don't get too much off of wind, so I guess I'm going to be burning a lot of gas today. But that's okay, because even the gas that I buy from my generator is still cheaper than what I would be paying for a, still cheaper than what I would be paying for a, um, Service connection, a service drop. Service drop, that's the technical name for your electrical utility connection in your house.